Homie made all a fly trap very effectively and economically. That trocare all a all a pests. The olive fruit fly is the greatest plague that can be found in our trees and poses a great threat to all growers. As a result, poor quality and less in the oil production. It is considered the most damaging pest of olives in Southern Europe, North Africa, Middle East and United States of America. The scientific name of the olive fly, Batrocara olea. Description the adult of this fly has an approximate length of 5 mm, brown to red, with red eyes and small antennae, the wings are transparent, with dark veins and a small dark spot on the tip, head, thorax and the abdomen is brown with darker spots, and chest has several whiter yellow spots on each side. To distinguish female from male. The most common difference is at the end of the abdomen of the male is flat and the female ends black tip, for which deposits eggs into the olive. Life Cycle. The fly lays an egg in olive fruit, hence get a worm, which feeds on the olive becomes a pupa within the olive and then emerges from the pupa the adult fly, starting a new cycle. At one year, have three to four generations. At the end of autumn and winter, the behavior changes the larvae mature olive leaves and drops to the ground where they transform into pupae, and so will the cold season until the following spring. The olive fly can spend the winter in adulthood, although at very low levels. Adults feed mainly on sugary substances like natural molasses. As this diet is low in protein, they are also attracted to protein ashes materials that emit volatile nitrogenous substances and that they complete their diet. An example is the excrement of birds and other animals. This habit is important because it can be used in surveillance and control programs by appealing to base hydrolyzed protein and ammonium salts. Olives are the only breeding host plants of this particular fly. They deposit their eggs in the largest varieties of olives, if I were a fly would do the same and my offspring would vary full pantry, but all olive varieties are susceptible. During the summer, the olive fly can complete a generation in 30 to 35 days at optimum temperatures. The eggs hatch in 2 to 3 days, larvae develop in about 20 days, and pupae in 8 to 10 days in the summer. Adult flies can live for 2 to 6 months, depending on the temperature and food availability. A female can lay 50 to 400 eggs over her life. My control measures. Homie made trap. Traps painted with food burrs can be used to reduce the density of adult flies by mass trapping. All a trap is called, is that trap I use in my homie made olive trees. Which I want to present and comment as my best experiences with it. All at the trap is made with a clear plastic bottle. Within it has to enter the bait, 2, D ammonium phosphate mixing well with water at 40 grams per liter ammonia and unscented and undiluted, as it is in a bottle. On the neck of the bottle is put a rope or tie flanges and an olive branch, at an average height and it is shaded by the branches, and evaporate less. Then with a battery drill and wood drill 4 mm you made two holes, and ready, to catch flies. Tips from my experience. The traps I made more than 4 mm, up to 8, capture other types of fly, you do not care for our task, even earwigs and other insects. It also has another drawback evaporates faster. D ammonium phosphate traps are better than those of ammonia. If you prepare the traps at home will be much more comfortable to put on olives, making holes once hung, and will not be prepared for anything because they lose trap holes for the fly to find the entrance hole, and that going with the funnel is not comfortable. Traps on ammonia was more effective to capture fruit flies, also known as, Ceratitis capitata, Ceratitia citripeta, Ceratitis hispanic, Mediterranean fruit fly, Citrus midge. I recommend it for the fruit orchards, without forgetting that gives good results for all a fly. This experience also put yellow chromatic traps with transparent glue, which sold for mice, bears fruit but is dirty, and a few days left to hit, and is destructive to nature. As for how many traps should be set per tree, one for each 20 olive trees would be fine, if you see that in the year have not seen reducing chopped olives per tree traps. Do not forget to put the table olive olive up. Traps when you begin to put the olives have about 7 mm. In late August relocating new traps as it loses effectiveness to ammonium phosphate, leaving the above. I hope your experience is in welcome and I will all learn in our common goal. Having a high quality oil, table olives great big props. Thank you very much for viewing my videos, any doubt commenters me, I will answer in this video and others on my channel. 
If you liked it help me if you give the finger pointing up, I like it. It would also be good to share the video, disseminate information and kill the fly between all that are damaging our crops.